Hi everyone, it's Sherry, and today I'm going to be using this stamp set from Newton's Nook called Naughty Newton, and I chose the stamp with Newton breaking the flower pot. And I am going to be stamping this on some Nina Solar White. I'm using my Mini Misty. Um, in the event I don't get a good impression the first time, I can re-stamp if needed. So here I'm going to stamp again. And I apologize if I sound a little funny, nasally if you will. Uh, allergies are kicking my tail here in North Carolina. So I am going to start by um, coloring the greenery that's in the pot. And I'm using a YG-13 and a YG-17. <coughs> Just laying down my lighter color first and then I'll go in and um, add some darker color just to give those a little bit of shading. This is a fairly simple stamp to color here and especially the greenery area really doesn't need any more than the two colors. So I'm going to put down my dark color and then come back in with, <coughs> excuse me, come back in with my light. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the leaves that are on the flower, or flowers. I actually started this card, I uh, was going to make a birthday card for a male friend of mine who has a cat named Leonard. And I have, um, I've colored a previous Newton stamp here on YouTube to look like his Leonard. Anyway, this was going to be for his birthday, and um, as I was coloring, I um, wanted to keep basically the same colors in the um, in the entire image, and forgot that his cat was a male, and ended up painting a a pink collar on this little Newton kitty. So I made it a oops card. I guess I could give it to him at a later date if I happen to break something in his retail store by mistake. <coughs> so here I'm doing the pot, only two colors, but I am doing a tip to tip technique to try and um, blend those colors just a little bit better. They are um, quite far apart, E15 and E19 just needed a little something on that one pot there. This one seemed to have blended out just a little bit better. And now I'm going to use um, an E31 and E33 and just to um, add the dirt that has fallen out of the pot underneath the flowers and leaves and the pot itself. I went in with the E33 first, then the E31, and then I felt like I lost a lot of the darker color. So I'm going to come back in and add a little bit more of the E33 where I think the shadow areas should be. And then I'm going to move on to Newton, and I'm going to be using my C1 markers to color Newton and I'm um, actually not going to show you the entire Newton because it's pretty much the same just varying back and forth between all of the C markers. I will map out a couple of dark spots on his head and face and um, his ears. This is what my friend's cat actually looks like he has two big dark patches on the top of his head. So that was the look I was trying to achieve for this particular card. Just using a little C5, a C3, 
and a C1 up here in these areas. And then the rest of Newton, I will use the lighter grays that I have showing there on the screen. And I will go back and darken up that um, little spot on his chest. And you can see too that I brought that pink in and colored the uh, collar. So I have a standard size card base here that I was showing and a couple of pieces of pattern paper that are from Lawn Fawn. And now I'm going to stamp the uh, sentiment on the front of the card and simply just the oops sentiment from the stamp set. And then I'm going to do the inside of the card and that sentiment reads, I messed up. And I feel like I really did mess up because this card did not turn out as I had originally intended, but it's okay. And then we have another oops here. I am um, putting some Tombow on the back of my pattern paper and placing it on to my black cardstock. And I find that sometimes when I do it or put the Tombow on the back of some pattern paper, it tends to grab real quickly and so I ended up with it crooked so I took it over to my trimmer and I trimmed down the black card stock just to try to straighten up what I had um, from where I had placed the green pattern paper down on crooked and now I'm just going to add a little strip of pink about say three quarters of the way down from the card or from the card top I'm sorry and then trim that off and then I'm placing my Newton in the middle of the green there and then basically I'm just going to use my Tombow again and um, glue this onto my white card base and this is going to be my card for the day. Thanks for joining. I hope to see you again real soon. Bye now.